If you believe that there is a spiritual world, that there, are, there is eternal life in the world to come, everything that is physical in this world has been cancelled on the spot. It's been cancelled. When you compare it to infinity, every suffering that you have here in this world has been cancelled totally. So what's stopping us? What's occupying us? The lack of faith that we don't remember the world to come, that we don't live that moment, that we don't live that moment, that we don't live that truth, that Hashem is here, that it's all good, that Hashem is pushing Am Israel to succeed all of the time, and He's healing us, and He's opened our eyes to see that He's here already, that we're going to wake up to understand that we're spiritual beings, that we have a soul inside of ourselves and that soul is screaming, I want Hashem, I want Hashem, I don't care, I don't care about food, I don't care about money, I don't care about honor, I just want to be happy with Hashem. Kirvat Elohim Litov. Only to be good. Every man, every man that's going to go to this quiet place, going to ask himself, who am I? Do I want to do good or I want to be bad? Do I want to say the truth? Do maybe I want to lie? Do I want to succeed? Do I want to be kind? Do I want to be cheap? Do I want to lose? Who am I? The answer is always going to be spiritual. The answer is always going to be good. The answer is always going to come out from his soul. Who that you are, it's your neshama, it's your soul. It's not your body. This is why when a man is dying, he died already. No one is talking to the body. Everyone immediately lifts their eyes and talking to heaven. Immediately. Because the man is the neshama. Now it's in prison. First of all, you need to understand you're in prison. But the real you is a spiritual being. Part of God. Neshama elokit. Hashem Ibarach himself is inside of you. We are part of Hashem. The Torah and Kudsha Berichu and Am Israel are one thing. You are part of Hashem. Like the, the Torah is part of Hashem. And there is no dividing, there is no walls, curtains, except of your body, except of your prison. And you need to work from inside to make an escape, to run away from that uh, prison, very guarded prison. <coughs> need to make an escape, this is it. To make a plan, to think, day and night, until you're going to find your spiritual being. <coughs> and then all of the righteous people, they had such huge powers. Those powers weren't because that they were righteous. It was because that the neshama was working. They were just aware to the neshama. If someone's got the merit and his parents are giving him a good body when he's born to this world, so Baruch Hashem, it's going to be easier for him to feel that, that neshama that's li that lives inside. It's going to be easier for him. And if the parents weren't so holy, so it's going to be a struggle. But anyway, if you're going to work, everyone going to work to find who am I? Who am I? Rabbeinu called it Bodedut Yishuv Adat. Rabbi Levi Yitzhak Bender was saying that all of the time, was calling it Bodedut Yishuv Adat, that the man going to think to himself, going to talk to himself. The main part of it, Bodedut, it's the conversation that you have with yourself. Not the prayers. And not the chuvot, the, 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 the confessions. The main it but the dut is that you're bringing yourself back to life. That you bring yourself back to serve Hashem, to believe in Hashem. It's just a temporary world that in this world, in this period of time, we have a mission. What's the mission? The mission is only not to forget the Creator, to remember that it's all Him. Never to fall in the trap of all of those coverings, of all of those husks. husks.